What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, to my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. Just saying. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. Hope everybody is doing fantastical. I do, I do, I do. Who? Just saying. Um, it's just me, myself, and I on Christmas. So I'm up working in the spiritual realm. Um, just saying. Um, I don't mind it at all, at all, at all. Um, so I just did the video on the Water Sign Femme Dark Art Spiritualist. I got a channeling on the Air Sign Femme Dark Art Spiritualist, and I'm going to do that one as well. But I got another channeling. And I mean, they are coming in so strong. I guess this is what I'm meant to do on Christmas of 2021. I'm, I'm guessing. Um, just saying. Everything happens for a reason. So I guess it is. Um, so I'm doing my spiritual calling. Just saying. So I got another channeling in. So it's completely unrelated to the Arisan film. Um, dark heart spiritualist about to be exposed. Um, so I'm going to share it. Um, don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Free general reading. So it's very important to only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. It's for all signs. Caps through side you, everybody in between. It can resonate if you have um, caps through side you in your sun, moon, rising. See my love handle? Ah! Um, in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, Node, Ben, Hamer, Jupiter charts. Just saying. Okay, so the channel I received was a Cancer Fem um, Position of High Authority Nurse. And that was very specific. That's what I heard. A Cancer Feminine Position of High Authority Nurse. Career is about to tank in a huge, huge, huge way is what I heard. Um, and then it was like 45 seconds to a minute after that, I heard... Um, their focus has been customer service, um, trying to get more focused on customer service, which that is important, but patient care is really, really, really declining in a huge way. Their career is about to suffer in a huge way. So you plug it in how it resonates. Very specific messages. Very specific. So you plug it in how it resonates. So it's a cancer film. Position of high authority nurse. And I just want to say real quick before I really channel in and we go deep on this. I'm a nurse. Anybody, I mean, y'all know. Um, those of you guys that have been on my channel for a hot minute, you've been with me, followed me through for a year and a half on this channel. Um, you know I'm a nurse. I'm an RN. And I've been an RN since 2013. Licensed in the state of Alabama. Uh, for anybody who doesn't know, newbies. Um, just joining. Um, I'm an RN, registered nurse. I've been licensed as an RN since 2013 in the state of Alabama, for me personally. But whoever this um, cancer fem is, I want to say, oh, before that, I want to say, as a nurse is what I was going to say, as a registered nurse, as a nurse, registered nurse, LPN, LVN, nurse anesthesiologist, nurse practitioner, what have you. I'm a registered nurse, but any of the nursing profession is what I'm trying to say. Customer service is absolutely a million percent essential. Absolutely, freaking lutely yes. Um, yes, when I worked at Encompass Health Rehabilitation Hospital from 2017-2018 here in Huntsville, Alabama, I still have them, and I'm going to make a shadow box. I got tons of, um, from the from the patients, from the patients, um, uh, little, the, the, at Encompass Health Rehabilitation Hospital, or that used to be, I don't know if it is now, the patients could write, the nurse they they could recommend a nurse for like doing a, doing a good job and i would i collected all i worked there for since march of 17 to september of 18. i collected all my little um there was an index cards but they were about the size of an index card um from my patients um it would go they had a little box a drop box i don't know how it is now but they had a drop box in the hospital and you would drop them in the drop box the patients would or they would get a staff member to drop them in the drop box so it would go through administration and then administration would mail them to you so um and you would get like so you would get um points to a certain site where you could pick out prizes if you got enough points basically um that's how it worked then i don't know how it works now but Anyways, I collected my customer cards or papers or whatever you call them. Um, and I still have them and I'm going to make a shadow box. 
So customer service is a million percent essential. Absolutely a million percent essential is what I'm trying to say. That made me feel so good as a nurse and a person. You just have no idea. So I agree that it's a million percent, but I heard patient care is declining in a huge way. So this cancer fam has been fighting for customer service, customer service, customer service, which absolutely, yes, customer service. But you got to have the bedside manner and the skills. I mean, and I'm just being serious. If you cannot perform the required skills under your license, I don't care how much customer service you have. You, you're not going to be able to perform your job effectively to help patient care. Um, so you can make the customer happy with smiles and giggles and laugh and whatever, but if they're over there declining medically, they're not going to, they might possibly, depending on how cute, how acute they are, they might not be living next week to tell you that they appreciate the smiles and the giggles of the what have you. Smiles and giggles and what have you are nice, but you have to have the skills to back it up is what I'm trying to say. So, um, just, oh Lord, just saying, but it's a position of high authority cancer feminine nurse. I don't know if they're LPN, LVN, RN, nurse practitioner, or um, nurse anesthesiologist, or what have you, but they are a position of high authority cancer nurse. Heard their career is about to tank down in a huge way. They have apparently been fighting, fighting, fighting for customer service to be more essential in the nursing profession. Um, but it sounds like they've been fighting, fighting, fighting for it, but, and it sounds like it's been effective, but the skills part, the skills part has been declining. The actual skills and necessary requirements, like, you know, skills check off you do in nursing school, is declining. So, yes, you can have smiles and giggles and laugh and yazzy, yazzy, yazzy with them all day long, but you got to have the skills to back it up. So, I'm thinking that's what's going on here because I heard their career is about to tank in a huge way. A huge way. Huge, huge energy shifts coming. Huge. Okay, I heard a huge, huge, huge way, huge energy shifts coming. So that's just, that's confirmation from Spirit. I just heard that. So their career is about to, I didn't hear they were going to get fired. I didn't hear that. But um, they may, I mean, they may. I, whoever this cancer fem is in the universe, they could have cancer in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, north, moon, and Hebrew, Jupiter charts. We got darkness on the bottom of the deck. I think they're about to go, I think they are, Maybe they're clinically depressed or they're suffering from depression now or they're about to suffer from depression once their career starts declining in a huge negative way. And I heard it's about to happen soon, so it hasn't happened yet, but it's about to. And um, it's about to create huge energy shifts. So hopefully more, if any nurses, which I know I do have some nurses that watch my channel. If any nurses watch this, you guys, skills are essential. Skills are essential. Yes, good bedside manner is wonderful. People complain about doctors with bad bed bed baths. I can't speak that with bed bad bedside manner all the time, I, and that's just the truth. But, and I'm not a doctor, but you, you have a, I guarantee you that doctor a doctor has a lot of know how. I guarantee you they're going to prescribe you the medication you need or perform that procedure or that surgical procedure or that what have you, and they're going to do it real good. So yeah, you might not like the way they come across. Same for nurses, but I guarantee you a nurse is going to go in there and catheterize, catheterize you, catheterize you, I can't speak, ah, catheterize you and perform the skill necessary or perform, uh, insert that peripheral IV beautifully. You might not like that they went in there and just introduced their name and said what they were going to do and then went in there and did it. But I guarantee you it was probably in there very well and Peyton and they had that sucker on there very nice and it had good blood return and you, they could put any kind of uh, medication in there as needed and it didn't infiltrate. Just saying, just saying. So, um, so any nurses watching this, Skills are necessary. Yes, bedside manner is wonderful. Absolutely. And I feel that's essential to nursing too. But skills to me are more essential than, um, uh, not more essential. I feel it's equal. I feel it's equally essential. I feel it's equally essential. Not more essential. Equally essential. Of course, there's many facets of nursing though. Some nurses just do administration. Whoever this cancer position or authority is, I don't feel she does skills anymore. 
I'm serious. I don't feel she does skills anymore. I feel she might be a huge big wig. Is exactly what I'm feeling. I think she's a huge big wig. She makes big bucks basically to lead in some shape, form, or fashion, but I don't feel she does skills. For some, they may, but I don't feel she does because if she did, she would understand that the skills part is just equally essential with the bedside manner and the, i.e., the customer service. Um, I know a lot of nurses watch my videos. I hope y'all agree with me on that. I'm serious, but I think she's about to start getting very depressed. She's about to get very depressed um, because her career is about to tank down in a, a negative way. I didn't hear she was going to get terminated. I just want to say that. I did not hear she was going to get terminated. We got it again. I didn't hear she was going to get terminated, but um, she may. A Taurus and a Virgo is having a huge, huge, huge wake-up call. Huge. Three, triple confirmation for darkness. She's either clinically depressed, like major depression, or she's suffering from mild depression now, or she's about to be suffering from mild depression, or she or is already clinically depressed. How that resonates? Oof. I heard a, a Taurus and a um, Virgo is getting a huge wake-up call. So this Taurus and this Virgo is um, essential in this cancer... Um, Feminine, oh, position of high authority's life in some shape, form, or fashion, um, whoever this is. It could be the Virgo or the Taurus could be their boss. It could be a co-worker. It could be a um, business associate. It could be a lover, a past lover, a family member, etc. a neighbor, unexpected, unexpected series of chain of events. Several shocking series of shame events are about to occur with this situation. Several. A very unexpected phone call this Cancer Feminine is about to receive. It's going to be very detrimental to her career. Very. She will not be able to recuperate from this. <clears throat> Oh my goodness. Whoa. Okay. Oh God. Okay. It's getting deep in here now. Okay. Heard several shocking series of chain events are about to occur with this situation. This cancer fem, um, very position of, high, position of high authority, cancer feminine that focuses on primarily on customer service um, is what I'm presuming. Um, I heard um, she's about to receive an unexpected phone call. So that, I think that's one of the unexpected series of chain events. Um, I heard it's going to be very detrimental to her career. And it's going to lead to more unexpected series of shame events for her regarding the career sector. Negatively. Oh, my God. And I heard it's going to lead. This phone call is very significant. It, it sounds like she's about to receive it. She's about to receive this phone call. And it's going to lead to many other um, negative series of shame events. This phone call is after she receives it. I heard it's going to be detrimental to her career, and then it's going to lead to other negative series of chain events regarding her career. So, it's, and I heard, you know, at the beginning that her career was about to start tanking down. Now, this hasn't happened yet. This unexpected phone call for her hasn't happened yet. So, I'm thinking it could be a boss, um, a boss that's about to call her, or a business associate, or somebody above her, or so, somebody important it is because she's important so it is somebody definitely important for sure release reversed boundaries upright overstepping boundaries is about to be a huge factor in this conversation it's not going to go well for this cancer feminine at all. Oh my God. Whoa. I heard overstepping boundaries is about to be a huge topic of conversation in this very important phone call with her, apparently. And I heard it's not going to go well for her at all. So she overstepped boundaries on person, people, place, or situation. Sounds like in the past. Um, and it's about to um, um, come back on her. Is what it sounds like. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. So we have release reversed, pleasure reversed, trust reversed. Number 27, 18, or 32 could be very significant numbers in one's life, possibly. 
27, 18, or 32. That could be um, possible ages of you or somebody you're connected to. If I think you are connected to this Cancer Feminine in some shape, form, or fashion. For some, you could be the Cancer Fem. But I feel for a lot of you guys, you're connected to her in some shape, form, or fashion. Now, whether you're under her in a workplace situation, you're equally yoked to her, or you're the person about to give her a phone call. I'm not sure. But, um, or you're the Virgo or the, um, or the Taurus. How that resonates, um, it could be masculine or femme, Virgo or Taurus. They could have Virgo or Taurus in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or moon, been here to Jupiter charts. You could be the Virgo or Taurus, 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 Virgo or Taurus, masculine or femme. Um, maybe you're going to give the phone call. Maybe you, masculine uh, or femme, Virgo or Taurus, is going to give her the phone call, possibly. Or it could be somebody else giving her the phone call. How that resonates. Um, or you could just be somebody else connected to her. Maybe you used to be a patient of hers. Um, or maybe your family member or a friend or a friend of me or what have you. 27, 18, or 32 could be very significant numbers. They could be possible ages of you or somebody you're connected to, possible date of birth number, possible social security card number, possible green card number, possibly possible lottery number, possible um, um, jersey number, 27, 18, or 32, pleasure, uh, release reversed. <clears throat> Some of these cancer feminines are alcoholics. Their workplace is about to find this out and about to terminate them. Hypocrite. Oh my God. Whoa. Holy crap. So release reverse. I heard um, it's two or more cancer fans in the universe. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. So two or more cancer fans in the universe position of authority that focused apparently on trying to implement more customer service than skills is what it sounds like. Um, to, careers are about to tank down, but it sounds like at least one of them is an alcoholic and that could be what the phone call energy is for one of them. Um, I heard um, their place of employment is about to find out they are an alcoholic. So that could be a phone call to the place of employment. Then the place of employment calls the cancer film, possibly. But I heard it's about to end their career. It's about to end their career. They're about to get terminated um, wherever they're at. Now, it doesn't mean they can't move on. You know, uh, well, I don't know. Well, well, with alcoholism and nursing, I don't know how that works, to be honest. Um, I don't know if they can move on. Because if they, the, in nursing, it's different. If you're a drug, if you're a druggie, a druggie or an alcoholic, there is rehabilitation programs, yes, but I don't think they'd be able to move on per se right now. They'd probably have to go through, um, they'd have to go through some kind of rehabilitation program first is what I'm presuming because there is real rehabilitation program. There is in the state of Alabama for alcoholism or um, drug, drug addicts that nurses that are that. But I think you have to go through that program first. I've never been an alcoholic or a drug addict, so I, I've never been through that program. But I'm presuming you probably would have to go through that first before they can move on to another job is what I'm presuming. But however this resonates, their employer is about to find out and they're about to get terminated. So release reverse, they do not want to leave their job. They don't want to leave their job. They probably get paid very well. Their position of authority, I'm assuming, assuming they get lots of respect and they like that and yazzy, yazzy, yazzy. But it sounds like, somebody's about to expose their alcoholic and that's serious in the uh, field of nursing because that leads to other series of shame events and that could have been the other series of shame events for one of them because they somebody might call the board of nursing i feel somebody might call the board of nursing on them and have them enroll in the program in the rehab program possibly that's what i'm feeling for some pleasure reversed this cancer feminine is not going to like this at all they're going to be very angry. Okay, I heard this cancer fam is not going to like this at all. They're going to be very angry. So pleasure reverse. They're not going to be pleased with the phone call. Uh, one of them is going to get terminated. The alcoholic is going to get terminated. And I think the board of nursing in whatever state they um, took their NCLEX and their um, received their license in, if they're in the uh, United States, I'm presuming, um, I think they're going to get involved. I didn't hear they're going to, but I think they are, um, cause that's serious. You can't, you know, you can't just overlook that and whoever this is, they want to get it out and they're about to tell somebody in their workplace, their workplace is about to handle it. 
Um, usually when that happens, not only do they handle it with the employee, but they call the board of nursing. Like in the state, this nurse has been um, in the United States. I don't know how it works in different countries, but they call the board of nursing to notify because you've got somebody out there basically when you're under the influence of alcohol or drugs in a workplace, especially when you're taking care of people, that's deemed abuse. Um, if anybody doesn't know that, um, just saying, trust reverse. People do not trust this cancer feminine anymore. And they have good reasons not to. Other information is about to come out on this cancer feminine as well. She's not going to lie. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates. My God. Okay, so I heard people do not trust this cancer femme. Um, and other information is going to come out on her that she doesn't want to come out on her as well. Um, because people don't trust her. So somebody's about to make a phone call to her place of employment and tell them she's an alcoholic is what it sounds like and some other kind of very important information has passed very okay so some kind of very important information has passed so they're gonna it sounds like call her workplace you could be the one calling her workplace or it could be somebody you're connected to but somebody's about to call her workplace a lot of important phone call energy in here they're about to call a workplace, report she's an alcoholic. So I'm assuming when they do that, you know, they will have to, her workplace will obviously run a test on her um, and things of that nature. Um, I'm presuming, I'm presuming. Um, and um, and then other series of shame events. But I heard not only that they're going to display, but something of her past, very important situation of her past. Uh, because I heard they don't trust her and they have good reason not to trust her. So trust reverse. Whoever's about to make this very important phone call doesn't trust her. It could be the Taurus or the Virgo about to make the phone call or somebody else about to make the phone call. And then she's going to get a phone call from her workplace. Basically, one of them is going to get terminated. There's two plus in the universe. Um, yo, let me see if I hear anything else. A connection with the Libra is about to be made as well. And other negative series of chain events for this Libra and this cancer is going to occur. Libra feminine. Oh my God. Okay, so I heard a connection with the Libra is going to be made as well. So a Libra femme. So this cancer femme, whoever these cancer femmes are, two plus in the universe, they have some kind of toxic connection with the Libra femme of the past. Or per present, how that resonates. They could be currently connected to this Le toxic Libra Femme or past connected, how that resonates. But it's a Libra Feminine in the universe. They could have Libra in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Hammer, Jupiter charts. But this person that's about to reveal the alcoholism in some other very serious situation in the past, I think knows this toxic connection between this Cancer Femme and this um, Libra Femme. And they're about to reveal it. And I heard it's going to lead to a very negative series of chain events for the Cancer Femme and the Libra Femme. They could have Cancer or Libra in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Femme, and Hammer, Jupiter charts, both feminine energies. So you plug it in, how that resonates, if that resonates for you. Okay, we're done. We're done. All right, I love you guys so much. Everybody meet wonderful choices. If you think anyone else could benefit from these messages, please share these videos on your social media and word of mouth. I very much appreciate it. Love you guys so much. Namaste.